So we were, we were born anatomically, but we were not really born um, emotionally. We, we are not sort of really fully in the world. We are still part of us. It's still engaged in the memory of birth. We are alienated from each other, from our bodies, from, from nature, you know, from the cosmos, from the divine. We uh, spent, you know, nine months in uh, the belly of the mother. Then we go through this wild ride of birth. And uh, this remains recorded in our uh, unconscious. For example, if the child spends hours in the birth canal, uh, this would generate enormous amount of response, but the response cannot happen. There's no way of uh, screaming, there's no way of uh, uh, escaping that situation or, or struggling. It uh, gives us a feeling of dissatisfaction with who we are and where we are. Things are not quite all right. We are not living fully. We, we would have to go inside and complete something uh, in the process of self-exploration. My patients started uh, experiencing very, very challenging uh, states in which they feel uh, uh, trapped, uh, locked in, uh, they had difficulties breathing, experienced you know, various pains, uh, fear of death. And uh, then if uh, this lasted for a certain time, that there was a struggle to free oneself and then emerging into light. And then one patient after another was telling me that or what they can tell, they relived their birth. And then I had the experiences myself, and it was very, very convincing uh, reliving of birth. And so I started studying these states, and I found out that the, the experiences on this level were coming in four patterns, four constellations, and that you could uh, associate them with the consecutive stages of birth and I started calling them basic perinatal matrices. And the first one was the situation of the fetus still in the womb, in an advanced stage of pregnancy, before the onset of the delivery. Then the second matrix was when the uterus is contracting, but the cervix is not open. So it's like contractions in a closed system, kind of a no exit situation, very uncomfortable uh, emotionally, physically, and also losing linear time. You cannot imagine that this, this would end or that the situation would open up. So kind of a hellish uh, experiences. And then the next, uh, the third matrix was a situation after the cervix opened, when there are still contractions, there is still experience of constriction, compression, but there is a direction. You have a sense that you can get out. It's not an no exit situation anymore. And then finally, uh, coming out into, into light, which is the fourth, uh, fourth matrix. that reliving birth became a very uh, healing, very transformative kind of experience. And at the same time, it was a, an experience of spiritual opening. So it was not just reliving of birth, but uh, what we can call psycho-spiritual death and rebirth uh, experience. And I started understanding that this is what uh, was happening to shamans during the initiatory crisis, and these were the states that they induced in their clients when they were healing them. You experience your oneness with nature. You realize how deeply embedded and connected we are in nature and with nature. You know, and that we cannot in any way damage nature without damaging ourselves. <laughs>